Hello, good election afternoon day. This is yours truly, CLG, coming to you live, and this is going to be both a questionnaire and an edification that everybody's doing good and, you know, that you cast your votes and you're taking care of yourselves and, you know, no matter what happens, we're still going to be here together. Don't be afraid whether or not Trump gets a second term or Biden gets his one, you know, gets in, you know, uh, no matter what happens, we still going to be here there's nothing it's, it's not going to be no cataclysmic you know explosion no meteor no wipeout no apocalypse no four horsemen or anything like that so ladies and gentlemen sincerely you know you know unplug yourselves you know unplug yourselves from this media unplug yourselves from any negativity unplug yourselves from from, from any fear and from any other fear mongers that cnn Fox News, NSNBC, you know, NBC, uh, your, you know, ABC, you name it, all of them. Pick your poisons, every single one of them, even the political parties, red, blue, donkey, elephant, there's no difference. At the end of the day, that old saying, they're both, they're, they're two wings on the same bird. You know, we need to stop the division, we really do. You know, uh, whoever you voted for, that's good, you know. There you go. You got, you know. Get your thumbs up. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, definitely, you know, family and friends and spouses, definitely look after for one another, regardless who they voted for. It's their free will decision. I know finally, now it's all over with now. Good. Well, I don't know. I'll probably give it till the end of this this week. You know, regardless who's going to be president, it's one, it's one hell of a night. It really is. And, and yep, I did my vote. I cast it. You know, you all can, you know, uh, I put, uh, you know, uh, I made a, a bunch of posts on, on all my social medias, you know, because I gave out subtle hints all year who, you know, who, you know, who I was voting for. And if you know me in person, you know exactly who I voted for without question, no remorse, no fear, no nothing. Proud and bold of it. Yeah, man. But yeah, and then, you know, we're going to see, you know, whether, you know, whether or not Trump gets a second term or not, you know, we're still going to be here, ladies and gentlemen, again, rid that fear from, rid that fear, that's all it is, fight those demons, you know, I'm seeing people all over social media saying they're afraid, they're afraid, the only thing yeah, I do, just, you know, just, you know, continue to stand, you know, be on guard, you know, you know, stand guard, you know, stand by and be on guard, you know, definitely, you know, if you don't have to be out at night, definitely don't, you know, don't, don't cause no attention, don't cause, you know, you know, this, yeah, you can be yourself, because again, you know, this is just another red, blue, poly, you know, presidential race at the end of the day, it's all of this, there's no different 2016 except for this COVID virus, which we all need to be focused on, that's why I'm saying, finally, this thing is over with, finally, now we can go back to being united to a degree, you know. Hopefully get those second stimulus checks out. Pelosi, uh, McConnell, that would be nice. You know, if it's on the table, like like what both President, you know, uh, Trump said, and and even, you know, the, you know, even though the uh, presidential candidate, Joe Biden, said, if it's on the table, then how come nobody's moving it? And another thing, ladies and gentlemen, the presence is just the face for the nation. You got to think, I mean, you have to do research behind the scenes. Do research on who really runs this country and, and who really runs it. And I'm going to give you a little hint. It's the 1.4% of, of the world who runs this country, who runs everything. All you got to do is just Google 1.4%. Those are the ones. Those are the power players. Those are the bosses. Those are the masters. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and, you know, definitely take it easy. Be safe out there. You know, continue to wear your mask. Be responsible. And you know, if somebody, if your spouse or your family or friend voted for the opposite of yours, respect them. You know, respect them. You know, don't you know? Hold no grudge. Hold no malice. You know. You know, uh, be edifying, you know, agree to disagree and respect and move on. Because at the end of the day, this COVID doesn't care who's president. We just need, you know, we need to be united so we can take out this enemy. My favorite Bible verse is Ephesians 6.12. It is, you know, 
for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and the evils and the darkness and the forces and the airs. So again, we we shouldn't be battling each other physically. We need to be we need to be battling. You know, we need to be battling the evils, not the man. The evils. We need to battle those. You know that you know that invisible force, that invisible you know that we call battling our demons. Those are enemies. Not the man who voted for Trump, not the woman who voted for Trump, not the man who voted for Biden, not the woman who voted for Biden, not the person who don't vote. And also to hear, to those who don't vote, that's okay. It's your decision. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because personally, I mean, it's just two baby boomers at the end of the day. But then, pretty except for Obama, who isn't part like the youngest of the baby boomers, that's it. I mean, just think about it. Just look at the... I mean, it's literally a repeating record of a cycle that just doesn't end. It's red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red. Even the House and Senate are red, blue, blue, red. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, just, you know, do re again, do research, you know, educate yourself. Unplug yourself from the matrix that is CNN, Fox News, you name it. They're all poisonous at the end of the day. Even if they're all social media, you know, because all this is just spinning and churning. It's a juggernaut to keep us divided. You know, the four D's, ladies and gentlemen, that is destruction, that is desperation, that is the um, deception, no, deception. Oh, forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. I got to think about this. Deception, um, deception, destruction, desperation. And what is the last D? Oh, do forgive me. Oh, man, I forgot about the last D. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm about to turn this off. And, you know, again, no matter what happens, whether Trump is a second term or not, yeah, you know, one of them's going to be president at the end. And that's it. You know, let's focus on moving forward instead of going backwards. Okay. Until next time, this is yours truly, CLJ. Be peace with yourselves. Seriously, be a peaceful mind, peaceful soul, and a peaceful spirit. Be happy for what you have for, you know, be happy for, for who you are and what you have and, and love yourself, love your neighbors until then. Peace.